This is the ICS321 screencast on installing Oracle Express Edition on Ubuntu in uh, VirtualBox. And uh, at this point, you should have completed part one and part two, and you have successfully installed and configured Oracle. Now, there's still a few more steps to go before we can actually use it, and uh, I'm going to go over those right now. Now, uh, you need to add your username, in this case my username is libyao to the group, so I'm going to do that now user my minus a minus g into the dba group username is libyao okay and that's done um, and I believe at this point we should be um, we should be able to uh, use um, we should be able to invoke the command line processor, which for Oracle is called SQL Plus. Okay, so uh, you want to log in as 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 the sysadmin. So you do uh, SQL. In fact, let me just go to a different directory. It's not so long. Okay. SQL Plus. Okay, SQL Plus SYS sysadmin as says DBA and it says enter password if you re I hope you remember the password that you entered earlier and I'm in okay so this is now the SQL uh, environment now um, you want to this you're logged in as a sysadmin now you have to create a user all right so I'm going to do that and uh, I'm going to do that by um, Typing create user and uh, I'm going to do username Lepiao identify by and you're going to put the password. Unfortunately, the, your password is in plain text. So for now, I'm just going to do this percent colon hit return. And it says user created. Now, uh, you create a user, you have to grant the user certain privileges, okay? And so that's what this next command is about. Grant, um, you want the user to be able to connect to your database and um, resource uh, to libyao, okay? And the grant succeeds. Uh, now that this is done, now you can actually exit, and I can't remember if you just do exit. Yeah, okay. Now you can log in as uh, as as a regular user. Okay, so you, you type SQL plus. It's gonna prompt your username, um, and then you can put in uh, your password. And you log in as your user, and now you can uh, type in SQL commands in this uh, SQL environment. Um, for example, now I can create a very simple table. Create table called product. Okay, with um, ID is an integer. Uh, product name is a char. Ten characters. And that's it. Table created. Uh, if you try to s find out what's in the table, select everything from products. It should give you something empty. Now you can do insert, insert into products uh, values. Um, let's do one and a single quote. Say this is an iPad. Let's see what happens when we'll create it. Oops. Uh, you can insert in, into products another row. A two. This is my um, my Samsung phone. Samsung S3 or whatnot. Okay, and now if I query, uh, return everything from products, I should see something. And there I go, I see two rows. Okay, so uh, we have successfully set up 
uh, your Oracle environment. Uh, now is a good time to again if you haven't updated your uh, your Ubuntu, do a software update, let it update overnight, and then it's time to if you want you also clone uh, clone this version of your virtual machine in case something bad happens to it. Okay, so that's it for now.